guys welcome back okay um just so you know at the moment ghana is extremely hot it is like i'm like pouring the sweat as i'm standing out here recording for you guys so i hope that you appreciate the pain and the suffering that i have to go through to deliver these videos no i'm just joking but i am sweating it's really hot at the moment but anyhow um, today's video is all about some items which I think are pretty essential if you're coming to Ghana. Um, they've helped me um, quite a lot, so I thought I would share those things with you. Okay, so bear with me. I'm sorry I have a shaky um, iPad at the moment. I'll try my best to hold this thing as still as possible. So, anyhow. Right, the first one is, there is a tree DVD um, that... Someone, in fact, one of my viewers, one of you guys showed me, um, they actually gave me a copy of this DVD. It's a tree DVD. Um, I will link it up somewhere in the description box. It's a fantastic video for learning some basic words in tree. I can't recommend the video enough. It's very simple to follow, very easy to follow. If I can follow it, and so can you. So I'm gonna link that video in here. It's great for if you're coming over and you want to pick up a few words and you don't know where to start, this DVD um, is great for that. It will teach you a few phrases, it's fantastic. So please do go check it out. Okay, so that's one that I would say is really good. Um, another thing that I would say, sorry, I'm looking at my phone, so I'm looking down. Bear with me, because it keeps locking. Yes. Another thing that I would recommend, which is good if you're coming to Ghana, is um, to get yourself a, a mobile phone battery pack. Now, it's good if you're carrying a battery pack, that's fine. But for me personally, I don't like the battery packs where you have to carry two things. I feel like that's a hassle for me and I don't want to carry two things. So I like the phone case one. So there's a particular one that you can actually use as a phone case and it's a battery pack. And I use it for my phone because there have been countless times here in Ghana where I've gone out and my phone has started to die and I start to panic inside because I don't want to be out without having being able to contact anyone. So the battery pack works brilliant for me. It means that I can go like a, a whole day without having to resist using my phone to save battery and I'm able to just use it and go about and do what I like without having to worry um, too much about if I can communicate with other people or if other people can communicate with me or not. So if you're coming to Ghana, get yourself a battery pack. It doesn't even cost much. The, it's worth it for what it does definitely it's worth having one i would definitely recommend it i never had one in the uk um i didn't really have the need to have one but in ghana here i think it's definitely worth having okay um the next thing that i think is a good item to have yes would be a wireless alarm system we never used to have one which is how we ended up getting robbed Okay, um, the alarm systems are fantastic because if you're um, in some type of compound area, the alarm system will actually protect the whole area. So the minute someone trespasses onto your property, it sends off a sis, um, a, this, this really loud alarm, like so no one dare. Everyone in the area will know that you have one of these systems. No one will ever think about coming into your compound and they're great. I think they're actually better than having a security person because let's be real, right? People have flaws. You can read between those lines. People have flaws. The alarm system will be faithful to you from beginning to end. They are great. If you're going out on the, in the day, set the alarm on. No one will enter your compound. Um, there are some alarm systems as well which are great. But actually, if someone, if you're out and the alarm goes off, it will actually send a signal to your mobile to tell you that someone's entered your property and then you can do whatever you need to do about it. So those are great. I can't recommend an alarm system enough. It will save you loads and loads and loads of hassle okay it's great you don't want to get robbed trust me it's cheaper to buy an alarm system than it is to get robbed okay um yes, yes. get yourself some citronella oil as well those are great for um, repelling mosquitoes as you know i keep going on about mosquitoes just because they are the bane of my life I love Ghana, I hate mosquitoes. If one of you can tell me the purpose of mosquitoes are, I would love to know because I don't see the benefit of mosquitoes. I don't see what they produce. What 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 is their purpose in life? Re I really need to ask the mosquito, what is your purpose in life? Because apart from irritating me, I don't know what else they're for. So citronella oil, is, sorry, I'm holding up this iPad and my arm's really, really hurting me. Oh my gosh, so this is gonna be a really short video. 
but anyway yes get yourself some citron oil, oil. it doesn't um, it actually repels mosquitoes it doesn't kill them it repels them and it's natural so you can use um, the citron oil, oil for in burners or you can mix it with like some shea butter or something like that and that will um, apply it to your skin at certain times of the day it will stop you getting bitten I use it all the time for me and my children okay, so it's worth getting that and also some shea butter you can purchase shea butter online as well before you come so that you can do your little mixed concoction before you come if you're coming on holiday or whatever um, just do that it will save you loads of bites trust me okay um, another thing oh my gosh my arm is in so much pain you guys don't know oh, my daughter's trying to help me hold this thing but she's gonna be even more shaky than me it's okay thank you right. yes get yourself a travel adapter as well Um, the reason I say get a travel adapter is because there have been times that I've purchased stuff in Ghana and I found that although most of the plug sockets here are three pins, um, sometimes when you purchase stuff from like the mall or anywhere else, sometimes the, the problems are different and so it's worth having a, an adapter just so that you can plug everything into it. But I know that in America your currency, your currency, your frequent, your current is different to the UK so we use um, 240 volts in, the, in America I think you use 220 or something like that so you need to get some type of changeover now I'm getting technical and now I'm losing myself so I'm going to go back to what I was saying before get yourself a travel adapter because then you can plug whatever you need into whatever socket you want without having the hassle of this doesn't fit because they have different sockets here so get yourself a travel adapter it works um, they're brilliant save you lots of time and lots of frustration too um, what else would I say? Um, yes, get yourself an external light motion sensor as well. well. We purchased some of those again when we got robbed. They're fantastic. You can literally stick them on your front door, stick them around in your compound, um, so that then if anything does come into your compound, the light goes off. Um, they're great for getting rid of um, like small animals as well. Not that I've seen plenty of small animals, but it just, you know, it throws a light on something when someone passes. I'm sure you've seen them uh, where you're from. Um, it's just good for deterring animals, people that you don't want to particularly see, that kind of thing. Um, it's great for that. And also, what else would I recommend? Uh, yes, do get yourself a surge protector. the current in Ghana is not great so that means that sometimes you purchase stuff you plug it into the wall um, the ECG electricity company of Ghana sometimes the electricity goes like this and sometimes it will knock out your appliances it's happened to us um, it happened to our washing machine it was plugged in we we're using it and then it just went off because there was a surge of power because we didn't have um, something, um, some type of surge protector on it. Um, it's it's knocked out, what else did it knock? It knocked out our TV as well. So as you can see, it's pretty expensive stuff, big items, okay? So you always wanna make sure you've got a surge protector, control the current. It basically will keep the current stable, even though if it's going like this at the, from the ECG, it will keep the electricity like this um, in your home. So definitely worth getting some of those. I can't tell you how important it is for you to get that unless you don't mind um rebuying your tv rebuying your washing machine rebuying your fridge and all that stuff it's worth it anyway guys i'm sweating way too much as you can see i'm dripping with sweat okay and i have had a shower this morning but um i'm dripping way too much so i'm out until next time and sorry for the close-up just a bit too close aren't i i'm sorry but my arm is really hurting me you have to understand but anyway until next time i'm out